Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to be taking a look at another of these Lannard Toys Primal Clash figures, and it is another one of those smaller ones, the $6.97 ones. It is Titanus, a, uh, basically a terror bird. And uh, honestly, at first glance, this set looks really, really cool. You also get this gun here that I guess maybe can find somewhere to stick to him because there is a peg here on the side, maybe on the back. I yes, I believe that's exactly where it goes. There we go. So you can stick the gun to the man's back. You also get this gun. It's a crossbow or something similar to a crossbow. I'm not really sure. And then a handgun as well. So some very cool weapons as always when it comes to these Lannard toy figures. And then of course you get the human figure himself, which he is removable obviously as they all are. You can see articulation again in the head as always, the shoulder, the elbow joint, knee, and the hip as well. And then the hip here is also on a swivel. But overall the human character himself does look really quite cool. He has a gun in a holster here, similar to the last one that I had with the uh, Triceratops, but I don't know if the other guy's gun was removable, honestly. I didn't try. This one definitely isn't, as this is just basically part of the character himself. But you can see there's some very nice paint applied. The actual belt here and the weapon itself is painted individually. The collar around the neck is painted. He's got this on the side that's painted. There's some significant paint uh, applied to the pants, some difference there. So overall, they don't skimp out in the paint department and they really give you a fairly decent and high quality product for the cheap price. It's super impressive to me, these Lannard toys. And again, I've mentioned this in a previous video. If you don't know who Lannard toys are, they are the ones that recently made the Rampage and Kong Skull Island figures, and those were all excellent in my opinion. So carrying on with their tradition of excellence, we've got these Primal Clash figures now. And again, you can take the stuff that is on the animal here off. You can pull this off, which I'm not honestly sure what this is supposed to be. I have no idea, but it's there. And then you've got the saddle itself, which is almost always a pain for me to get off, but we got it. And then you can take the saddle off, which is also really cool that they include saddles on these. And then oh, you've got this as well, which I almost didn't even notice, so we've got to take this off now. So there we go. We've got the handle off and now the terror bird himself titanus is out and loose completely broken from all of its chains and it looks quite awesome so let's get a closer look so i do want to state straight away that i think it's actually quite awesome that they did make one of the terror bird figures because we really haven't gotten very many of these like from any company honestly i believe collect day had one but it wasn't the best looking figure and uh I think Safari also had one, and it was pretty nice, but this one honestly is really, really nice, so I think this might be my favorite one of the bunch. If we start up here at the beak, there isn't honestly too much uh, sculpt work that's gone into the beak. It's just a fairly smooth type of a look to it, but it looks pretty darn nice. The inside has a tongue that's very nicely and very realistically painted sticking out there, and the articulated jaw works really well. There isn't any type of a problem with that at all, and then we come up into the eye area very nice sculpt work it's again kind of smooth there's not any type of over the top sculpt work that's been put into it but it looks nice the eye is painted really beautifully on both sides actually mattel really needs to take notice of this and maybe get some tips off of lanner toys how to make sure that their quality control works better because the eyes are painted perfectly on these and we can't say the same for mattel and they actually have a nice gloss to them looking very realistic I'm surprised they put a gloss on there on the eyes but not on the mouth uh, it's not anything to really complain about but it's just something to take note of and then coming up here we've got this head crest with these feathers and I think that they look really cool because of the way they've been painted they are basically the same color of brown that is on the head but they've dry brushed like an orange type of a color over it and it really makes the detail just pop and look very real to me oh even on the back of the head there that's really cool I think the featheration on the top of the head looks super cool. I actually would have liked it if they had done that all over the body wherever you see the feathers. I think that could have potentially looked really neat, but it does still look really cool just in that one area that is applied, that dry brushing. 
it looks really beautiful. And just up here on the head you've got the gray of the beak, you've got this yellow uh, rim basically to the beak, you've got this dark brown, then there's some orange here that's been dry brushed, and then this lighter brown here on the under part of the jaw and throat. So four different colorations just in that one area, and actually if you include the tongue and the eye, now you're up to six different colorations just in the head. So that shows you that they don't skimp out as far as coloration goes on their figures. And then as you move down the neck, you can see some very nice featheration that's been sculpted in, and it changes to a grayish coloration here in the chest. Very big plump chest. The uh, hands are sculpted really nicely. There is no paint, unfortunately on the nails, but they do look really good. Some nice feathers here hanging off of the arm itself. And then we run up, you can actually really nicely take note of the bone structure of the arm. Fairly scrawny looking arms or wings, whatever you want to call them. Looks pretty good. You really see the shoulder blade and everything elaborated nicely. And like I said, basically the entire bone structure of the arm. Really beautifully done. Nice featheration here in the stomach region. And uh, it really kind of becomes like this very soft, fine type of a look as far as the featheration and almost smooth up here on the back. There's some shaggy feathers right here behind the shoulders, but for the most part, the upper part of the back here is very uh, fine type of feathering, very soft feathering, but it looks pretty nice. There's also been some nice airbrushing done with a darker brown down the middle of the back. And then we come down into the leg and you've got some nice osteoderms here on the leg. And then we move down further, there's the kneecap, some huge calf muscles. Overall, they look very muscular, the legs of these Primal Clash figures. And then you get, for some reason, the feet are just awfully huge. They are just really gigantic, but they are sculpted really nicely. There's no paint that's been uh, added to the nails, other than what the rest of the coloration of the leg is, which is a little bit of a downside, but it's not anything terrible. They do still look really quite nice. The, the feet are beautifully bird-like and honestly look really really nice. They've got the huge nails sticking out here at the back, the dew claw. Looks beautiful all over. Very nicely done. Again, aside from them being quite oversized for some reason. And then we come up here into the back, leading up into the tail feathers. And again, those tail feathers have that very nice dry brushing of that orange on them, similar to the head crest that we have up here of the Federation. And I think it looks fantastic everywhere. And those feathers themselves are sculpted really beautifully. So great job on that little area there. And then looking at the opposing side, it's pretty much the same as the other side. Looks very good. You come down the neck, beautiful neck Federation going on. And then again, that grayish coloration on the chest. Beautifully sculpted arm slash wing. Again, really can tell the bone structure of the wing. Some more of that nice featheration in the stomach. And then we come up here into the back where the very nice airbrushing has been done to give it some just different tones and changing coloration. Looks great the way they've done that. And then down into the much larger bird feet. Again, I don't know why they're so big, but they are. And then we come back up. Very nice uh, saggy kind of an underside here. Looks very cool, very uh, similar to like a giant ostrich or something. And then you've got these beautiful feathers here in the back. Very nicely done. I love that dry brushing again that has been put over that. They look super cool and it really brings out the detail, just makes the entire figure just look really, really striking. So once again, I'm really quite impressed with these lantern toy figures. This figure overall is again actually really solid and feels really quite high quality. Unfortunately, the one thing that these figures do lack is articulation, even though it's quite nicely promoted on the front of the box that they are articulated figures. Again, the only articulation is in the jaw. There's only ever one area that has articulation on these, and I guess they're not lying because they are articulated figures, so it is true, but there's really only one area of articulation, and so far the area of articulation has always been the jaw as far as any of these figures go. There is no articulation in any of the limbs so far, but I don't think honestly that that's going to change. As far as a size goes on our Terror Bird, there isn't too much for a length, but you're looking at about a little bit over 5 inches or about 13 centimeters, and for a height just under 5 inches or about 12 and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex just kind of sneaking up on our Terror Bird but at the same time giving us a glimpse at what the size of the animal is. It is a pretty nicely sized figure. 
especially for being a $6.97 figure. It's uh, really quite large. It's not super huge or anything. I, again, the uh, Trimetrodon and the Raptor are all around a similar size, and this is pretty much in that same group as this is a $6.97 figure, and those are also, so you can see that that is about the same size, but it is really quite nicely sized. And as far as Primal Clash figures go, there is the Triceratops next to our Terror Bird. So, once again, giving you an idea of how well these figures size up together, this is the Terror Bird next to the Lanard Toys Primal Clash Triceratops, and they size up quite well. You can see that, again, as far as height goes, it's, it's definitely taller than the Triceratops, but the Triceratops kind of dwarfs it in length. So another super cool Primal Clash figure, this one being Titanus the Terror Bird, and I really like it quite a bit. I love the fact that they've gone out and created a Terror Bird. As I said previously, there aren't too many of these out on the market, so it is always nice to add another one, especially one that is so highly detailed. As far as scientific accuracy, probably not your best choice, but if you just want a very cool looking crazy type of a terror bird with awfully large feet, this is definitely a very good choice. And again, if you are into dino riders or anything like that, this is a great choice because this is very reminiscent of that old awesome TV show that if you are around my age, you probably enjoyed as a child. I loved it and I love these figures as well. Again, the Terror Bird himself is very nicely sculpted, very highly detailed, it's really got some beautiful detail, it's nicely painted, there are all sorts of different color variation included, unfortunately. Similar to Mattel, there are no paint on the nails, but uh, I can forgive it just because, again, these are fairly cheap figures, they're $6.97 at Walmart, so what you do get already minus the paint on the nails is extremely impressive because this is just really a lot to include for such a cheap price. You get numerous weapons, a human figure, the terror bird himself, and of course all these accessories including the saddle and everything like that. So it's really quite the steal when you think about it and uh, a very impressive figure released by Lanard Toys. Again, like I said previously, a very underappreciated and kind of underrated company as far as their figures go because man they are really really quite nice so if you do want to buy this go ahead and head to your local Walmart I don't believe they are online for sale so you'll probably have to get them in store this one like I said is about seven dollars six dollars ninety seven cents but plus tax it'll run you over seven dollars but that is a great price for something like this so head to your local Walmart go grab yourself a Titanus and please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next review thanks for watching